Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Well, today we're going to do a book review on this book entitled Light, Science, and Magic, written by Phil Hunter, Stephen Biver, and Paul Fuqua, and published by the Focal Press. It's been out for about 20 years, and this is the fourth edition. It's also in 10 languages. Now, I've heard about this book, but I've never actually seen it or had it in my hands before. So let's take a look inside and see what we got. Okay, let's have a look. Light, Science, and Magic, an introduction of photographic lighting. Well, as we know in photography, lighting is everything. Chapter one is how to learn lighting. And they show an example of how they uh, photograph the cover. Show you, they show you exactly how they did that. Um, they give some cautions, how, how what, you need, what you need to really use the book. Chapter two is the raw material of photography, which is light. They give you an explanation of how light works, uh, different colors of light, and um, it, the intensities. They talk about contrast and color right there. And then how light affects different surfaces. There's two different lighting situations on glass bottles. One is sort of very harsh, and the other one has a very nice highlights. So chapter three is the management of reflection and the family of angles. And in this chapter, they talk about the types of reflections, diffuse reflection, uh, inverse square law. There's too much to go into it in all, in all the detail here. They've got uh, lighting diagrams about how reflection works. Uh, it's a really good chapter on that. It's a little technical, but it's a very good, uh, it's a very, very good to know. Chapter four is about service appearances. And in this chapter, there's a really great example on how to eliminate glare. You can see in the lower picture, they have much, a lot of glare on the picture, and the top picture is perfectly evenly lit. And they have a diagram on how to do that and, what the, and how the angles affect that situation. Here they discuss depth perspective, distortion, manipulating your distortion, how the size of your light affects the shape and contour of your subject. And again, they always give a really nice, simple drawing to explain everything they're talking about, which I find really valuable in this book. That's, that's one of the big reasons that I like it so much. How do you add depth to a background? Even more uh, drawings on how things are done. Really great. Again, on how reflective uh, angles of reflection on objects. You see a highlight here and there's no highlight there. How, how you do that sort of a thing. Highlights on top of re uh, reflective items. Another big problem uh, in photographing objects. They tell you how to take care of those problems and they have, uh, again, drawings on how to explain it. And then we get into the next chapter on photographing metal. And metal is a very difficult thing to shoot if it's actually a very a reflective metal. Um, and they show you exactly how to do that with drawings and explanations. Um, what the different reflective angles are, the angle of reflectance. Uh, and you really can solve your photographing metallic shiny objects very effectively. Well, there's way too much to go into every chapter. But I can tell you, they go into uh, a really nice explanation how to do portraits, uh, how to light glass, um, and how to light white on white, and much, much more. So there it is, light, science, and magic. Well, this is quite a book. It's got a lot of simple to understand drawings. It would be great for the intermediate photographer as well as the beginner. And if you have a lighting problem, the answer is probably going to be in this book. We recommend it highly. So look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.